I think last episode was probably the most hype episodes or one of the most hype. Actually, no. Oka-chan taking away Hugo's powers and the whole, the, the entire revelation. That was crazy. But like last episode, seeing the humans raid into the labyrinth, trying to take out the nightmare of the labyrinth. It's like, what is this thing? Is it Wakaba? Is it really Wakaba? It is Wakaba, but it's kind of weird because the humans see the spider as like a monster, right? There's no cute anime girls. Like she's actually fucking huge. So like... When we see Wakaba through her perspective, right, through her narration, she's like this tiny little cute spider doing cute things. Oh, tee -hee, I seem a little demon lordy, but it's like, hmm, hmm, what's that about? But then we already do know that she is the demon lord. And now that we get the perspective of the humans from 15 years ago, it's like, holy shit, she's actually menacing. I love it when we go to the human side. And people hate it whenever we go to the human side. Because, I don't know why, they're just haters for the human side. I personally love it when we go to the human side, not because the plot becomes a lot more interesting, but because the human's perspective onto Wakaba, it's totally different from anything we've seen, right? So that, that like, contrast, I think, is what builds up the hype. We did reach a new evolution. We're about to become something even monstrous. Like, we're going from a harbinger of, like, misfortune into the embodiment of death itself. And Taboo has reached level 10. Time to get a new skill. Let's begin today's reaction. A taboo menu. System summary. Itemized system explanation. Update history. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. Okay, what is this? A special category N percent I equals W. It's still there. Humanity discovers Ma energy. What the fuck is this? Lifespan of the planet increasingly diminished. What, 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 what? Repent. Dragons furious at loss attack humanity. So this is like quick PowerPoint presentation of like the history of the world in this isekai world so dragons furious at laws attacks humanity why do they do that wait what the dragons started attacking people the lifespan of the planet diminishes and dragons get upset the goddess sario this is goddess sario right here she's got like blue and like yellowish wings here okay countdown to oblivion sacrifice to revive the world so the goddess sario has been sacrificed on a fucking cross administrator whoa 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 isn't this the helmet dude that we saw right this is the helmet dude that we saw with the smartphone when Adnan D was talking, right? They're called... Oh, I don't know. Well, they're showing this character guy, but then his name is... I, I don't know. This could might not be the... I, I'm going to call him Admin G. Uh, system implemented Sario's wish and the goddess's life support. I, uh... Right! New DLC downloaded because Wakaba evolved. Oh, okay. We got new DLC installed. We got leveled up. New form. Back to their side. Shun. Training. Wow, you filled a bucket with water. Amazing. Target practice. Fate is getting longer? Bigger? I don't know. I think she's still the same size. Did he just get Fate wet? Okay, so he's pretty much dropped out of school to like train, right? Did they really actually do significant damage in the demon party? Ain't no way you just said fucking wet t-shirt circuit service for fucking Faye. You are a scaly. You're not a furry. You're a scaly. Wait, wait, wait. Someone survived from the hero's party. I think that H guy? That's the shielder guy. The blonde guy, right? High Nancy. Yeah, I think this is the shield guy. Only survived because he's a tank. <laughs> Only the tank survived. <laughs> Suspicious. I think he's too much of a boy. He's not a man. You know? Like, I just don't think he can ever get to where Julius ever was. And he's gonna be chasing the shadow, just like Suzune after Manabu. And like, this is not gonna end well for him. Or maybe there's gonna be a happy heroic story for him, but... Yuri's been named a saint. Who the fuck is Yuri again? Priest students? Oh shit, the church girl? Church girl? Ch oh my god, church girl has turned into a saint? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, shit. My favorite girl? I don't know if she's my favorite anymore, man. She kind of terrifies me. Oh shit, she's actually fucking going up. Alright, why don't we forge a pact? This seems important. Hmm, against her will. Hmm, what would you make her do? <sighs> We're setting up for the future. A pact means that she can get summoned, but also he can make her do anything against her own will. Something crazy happens. Unless something crazy happens, this is definitely gonna happen, right? Uh-oh. Yeah, no late night booty calls, okay? Well, you just hold hands and go pact. Golden chains. 
to kind of like symbolize that they're in a pact. What happens if you try to go against the pact? Can you like break the pact? You can't get rid of it that easily. How do you do it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. She's changing. Evolution, evolution. Experience threshold. She went 15 years back. That's the fucking same egg! I mean, we already noticed that she is from the Elro Labyrinth, right? Wakaba tried to eat the egg before, but she got turned into an egg again? She's gone? <laughs> now evolving. Okay, okay, maybe this is like... You need to go back into the shell to evolve into a different form. I don't... I thought that she just turned into a baby egg again. Taboo level 10. Like Yuri said, anyone with Taboo needs to get killed. What is this though? So because we hit Taboo 10, the DLC package from the admin was installed to us, the history of the world with the, with the you know, the, uh, the lives going away, and then the dragons getting mad, and waging war against the goddess Syria or Sariel, and then her getting sacrificed, okay. So only if you know, ta if you have Taboo, you can learn the past? The secrets behind skills and stats. Because teacher said that the skills are evil. <laughs> Anyway, information brain's been beaten up by all these books falling onto her. World is doomed. From who, though? Natural disasters? Seems like it. It seems like it's natural disasters, right? So what, you must become the demon lord to save this world from itself? Like, what's going on? Stop natural disasters from happening. So... Only because we hit Taboo 10, we know that the world is gonna head for destruction. But... The church girl, Yuri says that, yeah, the church is super against it, right? If anyone has taboo, you must kill them, right? So, like, the church wants the inevitable destruction of this world to happen. Why? Is this the same thing as, like, Noah's Ark? You know, back in, like, the Bible and shit, like, there's a time where God was like, all right, these humans are fucking monkeys, let's kill them all. <laughs> so we, like, flooded them, and our only people in Noah's Ark survived, right? I don't know if the, God, the church is trying to, like, cleanse this world of the impurities or something through natural disasters, but maybe that's one plot line. I don't know, but it's really sus that the church is, like, intentionally trying to let the world go to shit when the only way to know if the world is going to go to shit is to have taboo, right? The church is usually evil doing every isekai though, so it makes sense. Yeah, that's true. I'm not going to lie. This, this, this <laughs> new spider form, she looks like Skuna, you know? She looks, looks like Skuna's new, like, you know, the hair, like, you know, the tattoo marks that he has? Like, if you look at the shell. Because this is a game and admins can't play? But I don't know, but there was an admin in the demon side. Our next target. Who is it? Phase Mom? Why? Why naturally that's our next enemy? Maybe we can now. We have evolved. G G G Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Her schizo fucking... Her schizo scenes are getting even more funny. She just beat the fuck out of her other friends. Look. These are like not soft punches. These are like claws. They're like blades. Look at this. <laughs> Should we fight that thing? It looks like you had a lot of fun doing it, yes. What? Get over this PTSD? Is this a copium session? Is this just the result of the trauma? Sometimes, like, I wonder if these, like, schizo scenes where she's talking to the other brains is, like, her having, like, a mental breakdown, which she is, right? I don't know. Is this supposed to be fun scenes or is there something deeper meaning to it? That's right. Trauma builds character. That's right. You should all want PTSD so you can become better. Makes sense. So we're really gonna do it, huh? Did we just teleport? Did we, did we just teleport? Spatial magic? We have teleport just that easily, huh? We got spatial magic that easily now, okay? Okay. Araba, where are you at? CGI uh, Cobra. Elro Baragesh. Fucking level 25. So many skills. But we should be stronger now? Maybe? Hit him with the Abyss Gate. Or Hell Gate. So this is like lower stratum. So like deepest deepest? Or is there like lower lower? Is this truly the lowest part of the Elro Labyrinth? So we are in like the final end game portion of this labyrinth. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Araba. It's gotta be Araba walking around. Oh, we got telescopic sights. Okay, Araba versus the Cobra. And it's probably easy for Araba, right? 
Huh? Autobot just lose? Is Autobot just about to lose? Wait, 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 wait. No. Okay, we go. So like, he just like summons shit and like projectiles just show up out of nowhere. He did that against the Cobra before too. I thought it was just like the terrain, but he can summon gates and like rock things come out. So I can assume this is Faye's dad, right? It has to be. Or maybe Faye's brother. I don't know. What you thinking, Wakaba? You think this is beautiful? She's like watching nature documentary. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's a beam there. Damn. Are you sure we can fight this thing? Maybe it's too early. Maybe we should go train a little bit more. But like beyond Araba, like what about Mama Spider? Where does she go? We haven't seen her since episode one. She tried to eat us once and she's gone. They're making it seem like, oh, well, Araba is like the end game boss here, but I feel like Mama Spider is probably stronger. I would hope so. Right, back to the human side. Uh, is this the tank guy? It is a tank guy, yes. Now, wouldn't it be kind of interesting if the tank surviving is like not a coincidence and like he was like playing, I don't know, he's siding with the demons or some shit and like he's that's why he only came back alive and he betrayed the party. I don't know. All right. He's saying sorry for you, Lee's Nisama. Yeah, you're the tank. You should have been the one that died. Why did, why did you only survive, bro, as a tank? Feather? What does that do? Oh! Wait, 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 wait. It, it, it allows what? It resurrection, but was there a different mechanic there? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Allows the person who holds it to revive after being killed, but only once. To revive. The wording here is sus, as in like, the person holding it can get res resurrected. Not that the person holding it does the resurrection onto someone else. But I'm just going to assume if you have the feather, you can use like, revival! And Julius Nisama will become alive. No, 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 so you are supposed to carry it, and that's how you get resurrected. So this motherfucker, it's already been used once, and he, and he survived. Why did Julius say he should be you? What? Because the tank is important to the team, comp. I don't know, this is kind of still sus. Is this like incredible acting skills or what? Did he, or did he steal it? I'd like to think he stole it. And Shinsuke, this naive motherfucker, just believes everything that's been presented to him. I'm schizo. I'm gonna be cautious. I'm gonna be questioning everything, dude. Okay. She appeared. Kumoko. No, that's not Kumo. Wait! That's the hoodie girl! That's 10 Squadron! That's 10 Squadron! That's the girl I was like, is this Yuri or not? Okay, show me your face. She's still not opening her eyes. But I don't think this is Yuri, right? This is not Yuri. It's just... You know, she just wouldn't open her eyes. But like, what if this is the saint now? What if the saint evolved and like, she looks like... Nah, it's, it's not Yuri. It's not Yuri. It's not the church girl, right? She still open... Don't open her eyes, though. Oh, no, 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 no! She opened it! Wait, 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 wait! Ah, it's too bright. I don't think it's Yuri. I... Because like, Yuri had green eyes, but then you could argue that, oh, she changed her ever, ever since becoming a saint. I don't fucking know. So she came and killed them. <laughs> They should have won, but the 10th squad came in and just saved. I killed them. Damn, they all got wiped from one attack? And now we're assuming that this, you know, story is real. That's the 15-year-old spider silk uh, scarf from Wakaba. The demon lord general came in and just killed them all. Rot attack? Rot attack. Element is destruction. The element of death. Rot attack. Does Yuri have rot attack? No, she's a church girl. She, clearly it's not her. When teacher attacked by Earth Dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just fucking like disintegrated, dude. <laughs> like they're, they got hit by it. Well, and even in Elden Ring, there's like Scarlet Rot. Like this is like a debuff where it just like eats away at you, right? Have we seen Wakaba use it? I, I, I know it was fucking the 10th Squadron, but I'm just thinking of different situations where it's been used before other than that Earth Dragon one. Brutal attack, dude. The Scarf survived though. Wait, did the Scarf survive the Rot? That's what the implication here is, right? So like... Well, Wakaba scar like silk, the spider silk is just that strong, right? I don't really have any emotional attachments to Yulius Nisama. I just like he's just some random NPC that just showed up and died and got hyped up. Like this is not gonna make me feel sorry for you know Yulius or Shin. Until the day I die, you should have never said that. Death flags. His dream. Okay. 
I already killed one hero. You're next, Shun. I don't know. Like, I feel like he's a good person, but something is just kind of suspicious. I'm just being too schizo. Maybe I'm being too schizo. Maybe this is a truly good person. But like, I'd like to entertain the idea that, you know, he's part of the demon side and just suspicious that he's just telling his story. No one else survived. You know, something is a bit off and he's the tank that survived. But like, it kind of makes sense of you just like, all right, you're the one that needs to survive because you're the tank. But he's the fucking hero. I just, I just don't know, man. I just feel like this guy's capping. He played an instrumental role in killing Julius and, you know, fucking... He's about to get shown next. Sussy. Sussy. Also, one more thing about the flashback, which is very suspicious to me, is the story is they all got hit by a rod attack, right? Like, everything was fine. We defeated the demon or commander or generals or whatever, right? Everything was sick. And we should have survived. And the phoenix feather was not used yet. But then, not Yuri shows up, the 10 squadron leader, and uses rod attack. And then... He just wakes up. So I thought that like uh, a person has to hold a phoenix plume, but there's no scene where we interact with Julius to say, oh, you're the one that needs to hold a phoenix plume. He just woke up under his fucking shield. They skipped that. Now, that might be the anime just skipping all the little details and it's not that important, but the way that this flashback was shown, you know, I just feel like where was the interaction of saying you need to be the one holding the phoenix plume? Maybe it doesn't really matter. I don't know, man. It's probably I'm just, I'm just probably nitpicking, and there's nothing you know sinister going on. But something about this guy just I just don't feel good about it, man. I just don't feel good. All right, power farming so that we can beat Araba. What? Oh, little cut, little burn. So using the Annihilating Evil Eye actually hurts you. Huh. Which is like that rod attack I have. Isn't this literally the eye attack? Did people just die from the eye rod attack? And then now we're using the eye rod attack. What? Wait, no! This, that, 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 that doesn't mean Yuri is Wakaba. That just means that Yuri happens... No, no, it's not even Yuri. No, no, no. The t I'm, I'm, I'm jumping. No, no, that's not Yuri. That's just a girl that looks like Yuri. The, the 10 squad leader just happens to have a rod attack uses her eyes just like us. Because we've seen Wakaba, the demon lord, and the 10th squadron in the same table at the same time. No, 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 no. No, Yuri, no, 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 no. Stop it. Can we heal it back? Oh, it works. Never mind. <laughs> I thought that was like a huge, like strong power that can't be overused. But if we can just fucking heal it, then it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, more monsters. Earth, dra two earth dragons, but kind of lower level, right? Dude, what, what is the rules for her teleport? Why can she just like? I, I, did they explain the the rules for the teleport? Can she just go anywhere that she's visited prior? Or can she go anywhere where she hasn't even visited? There must be some rules to the teleport, right? Is it like, is, is it like, do you place like, like the markings? I don't know. You place like a marking and you've been there. So it's like a safe travel. Anywhere she visited, you can kind of go there again. Okay, okay. So we got to make sure they're kind of separated and then we take them out. That's right. We marked them too. The old man. And we know how to get out of here now. So now we know how to get out of here as well. Well, I want Wakaba to leave the labyrinth. I mean, we've been stuck in this labyrinth for fucking 10 episodes, like 11 episodes, man. I mean, this entire thing is just a training arc. <laughs> this is Araba's bedroom. You're just gonna show up like that. <laughs> With the fucking bazooka? <laughs> Yo, can we manifest Hades? Can we, like, use Abyss magic? Can we use some crazy demon lord shit? It's to perform a little impromptu genocide of these smug air spells. She's basically just, uh, just, she's about to do a genocide on the hornets. Okay. Just a little one. All right. Let's clear it out to make the fight more convenient. So we're going to be like airborne. And like Araba, exactly. Araba is like, look at that. The stone magic. So don't be on the ground. Makes sense if you're fighting an earth dragon. You want to be like in flight. You want to like use spider webs and like hang around in the air. Wait! 
Wait, 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 wait. This, oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. I can fly VTuber. Who is this? This line right here. I, I know this line. Right? Who is it? Is it Peko that does this? I remember this exact line, even though I've never seen this anime, because there's a VTuber that also said I can fly. Who was it? Was it not Pekora? It was the dog one. Fuck, I forgot a name. Ka K Karane? No, that's the 100 girlfriends. Harane? K Barane? Gar you know what I'm talking? Korone! <laughs> Kor doesn't Korone literally say I can fly? I can the voice fly. acting is... I it's not the same. It's, 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 not the, it's, not, it's not the same at all. I swear to God, there's a moment where she actually screams like, I can fly, but anyways, that maybe I'm going schizo. Maybe I'm fucking crazy. Maybe I'm going insane, man. Maybe that never happens. Well, you need the spider webs, right? You, you can't just actually fly. Hey, this is like Flappy Bird. Literally just, no, this is a... Uh... Oh, fuck, I forgot that game. Oh, and we're dead. The hornet just penetrated us. That was kind of sussy. The way that the hornet just penetrated was very sussy there. Did the hornet just fuck us? Wait, 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 wait. It... We totally just got fucked in the ass here. <laughs> Judo toss, okay. Alright, gotta heal that bass. Gotta heal that ass up. Oh, another one. Jesus! We're taking so many back shots! got a lot of new wrestling moves. Detection doesn't catch them because they're too low level. Interesting. Yeah, they are pretty weak. Another one. Three ass piercings. Holy shit! She just fucking Jojo fucking Ora Ora that. Look at this. <laughs> she wrapped it up and gave it like Jet Gatling gun. <laughs> She's losing it, man. Dimensional maneuvering. Did we always have that? She can just create footholds in space like that? All right, sure. Oh, wait. We're using the webs as like a cutting thing. I want to see more abyss magic, man. Oh, we're getting different element magics leveled up. Black bullet? Isn't that an anime? About a gun? All right. Black bullet is just... Crazy projectiles. And uh, we hit nine. All right, more schizo time. Okay. Abyss is the strongest we have. Long incantation time. Unless we like set it up so he's like locked down. So like she can copy magic. So if she sees something, she can straight up just copy any magic. It's pretty much a shotgun, gun, right? Yeah, we saw monster use it and now we're gonna copy it. What other magic did we see? Right. The spatial magic is only working because we saw that old man teleport out, right? Because like she wasn't able to kind of use spatial magic until we, last episode we saw the old man use huge AoE teleport. And then that's how we got better at it, right? Yo, we should just camp Araba. We should just like... We're even we're, Where's Mama Spider? We should just like camp them and just like not fight and just observe and just like watch, watch, copy all their techniques. <laughs> Black magic. Uh, oh, the lance thing. Shadow magic, dark magic, black magic. Isn't that all just the same shit? All right. No, no, no. This is just the evolution that we went from shadow to dark to black magic. It is the same shit. It's just evolved forms of it. Can we use summon Hades? Manifest Hades? Yo, that's been kind of set up since like the beginning. And we have never used it afterwards. And we got fucked again. That was to the neck. That's a pretty long... Oh, okay. Right, we have after image too. I forgot about that. We got after image. After image is such a bullshit skill because like at any point, like this happens a lot in Naruto too. The fucking, you just swap places with the log. It's like at any time, you can just have a bullshit moment. It's like, oh no, did they die? Psych or even Genjutsu, right? Like these are such bullshit things that like you can just get away with. Uh, this is Black Bullet. Just a little genocide. Well, that's a lot of circles. That is a lot of the spears. Does that count as a road roller? Okay, level up again. Nice land. Did she just molt? Wait, she molted. She molted. 
And now she's gonna eat him up. Enough leveling up. Can we fight now? Oh, the credits are rolling. We're doing a lot of prep for Autobot, man. What new skill did you learn? Sloth. Probably some kind of debuff that makes him slower, right? Oh, it's moving. Autobot's moving. Next episode, we're gonna fight Autobot. I wonder if this is Faye's dad or brother. And yeah, there's no show we could have fought it back then. Even right now, it's kind of scary, huh? Holy shit, look at all these. I'm interested in the titles. Monster Slayer, Monster Slaughter, Slaughterer, Dragon Assassin, Champion, Monster Calamity. Is there any crazy skills here? There's like D.Va. D.Va sounds kind of crazy, right? I thought we were like a speck of dust to Autobot in the past. Really? I thought the Autobot just saw us as like an NPC that didn't matter at all. Next episode, and but, but whoa, whoa, here's the thing. Why do we still have no name, right? Here's the thing. Why still do we have no name? And maybe this ties into how we become a demon lord. Maybe it's one of the conditions. I don't know, but clearly this has been set up since the beginning as to why we have no name. The appraiser even like makes fun of us saying like, you're a like, weak no name, right? But this is going to build off and I don't know why we have no no name, but something about demon lord because there's like a transition between Edesine and whenever she becomes Demon Lord, right? Maybe the next- and maybe after we beat Araba, we get like a level threshold and then we're gonna evolve to a new thing and then it's gonna be like conditions to become Demon Lord, met or some shit. I don't fucking know. I don't know. It's like solo leveling with no job, but like the job part would, I would imagine, be Edesine, right? The no name is literally name, like Songjin Wu. She just has no name. It's not that we lack a class, it's that we have no name, but interesting episode. It's mostly just set up training. The human side, I'm not sure if I can trust this guy, right? I I'm not sure if I can trust this dude that just like survived by himself. It seems a little bit too suspicious that he's the only survivor. He's the tank and we happen to have a Phoenix Feather and yes, Yulius Nisam apparently gave it to him and he resurrected under the shield, but it's like... I don't know. Maybe it's watching too much Cautious Hero, but I think that being cautious is better than acting like nothing is wrong. And just like, he's like, oh yeah, just like how I served you, Lee Sneefsam, I, I plan to serve you. It's like, no, I think you're going to fucking kill. I don't know. Is there anything here that's important to know from him? He has like a little feather earring. Maybe some of the other Demon Lord agents also has an earring. I don't know. But I, I, don't, I don't trust this guy. I don't trust this dude. The story... Uh, and... and I don't think this is a Yuri either, right? On on the battlefield, like when they beat the uh the demons, right? This girl shows up. So this is not Yuri, right? I'm pretty sure it's not Yuri. It just kind of looks like Yuri. I'm just gonna assume it's like Yuri's sister. Maybe maybe it's Yuri's sister, huh? Big sister is part of the demon squad. I don't know, but she's a saint. And also the beginning, right? The beginning shows so much. This is like the void century from one piece you know what i mean it's like the past that nobody knows about and only if you have taboo level 10 which the church doesn't want you to have can you get the dlc package installed from the admins so that you get to know about the past something about humanity discovering like mana right something about ma energy ma energy who knows what that is i'm just gonna assume that has to relate with how we got skills and powers somehow that resulted in the lifespan of the planet decreasing because people started killing each other because they all started power tripping and then the dragons got angry Dragons furious at loss attacked humanity. Loss for what? Maybe the humans started to attack the dragons and the dragons became like more extinct and the dragons got mad and the dragons are like, fuck you, we're gonna start attacking humanity. And then the goddess Sariel showed up to like mend everything, but somehow goddess Sariel is the one that got sacrificed to revive the world. Like Jesus Christ. And then there's also this admin. This is a guy that we saw in the beginning, uh, you know, in the, in the in the labyrinth. He poured it in. He used spatial magic and he was talking with Admin D. But it's like, he's also an admin? I thought the admins were like not players and they're just outside. They're like developers and they're like gods of this world. But I don't know. So maybe he is an admin. All right, Mr. Admin Gilles, your Diaz. I don't, I don't fucking know. But very interesting past. And, and that's pretty much it, right? That Sariel's wish and the goddess's life support. And that's it. Very quick sequence of events. Perhaps I'm cooking something, but I don't know. And like, the church doesn't want us to know about taboo, the past, the church. And like this, if we don't know this, like natural disasters will happen to destroy the world. So like, we, someone needs to like save this world by getting taboo, but the church doesn't want to do it, which fits in line because the church is always evil in Isekai, right? So 
I don't know, man. I remember, Yuri has evolved into a saint. I don't know what that means, but it's looking pretty scary. And next episode, we're going to fight Araba. I'm sure it's going to be an epic fight. And after we win, probably going to evolve into finally Demon Lord. I think that we're about ready to head out of the labyrinth and hopefully do some other shit. Because as like the labyrinth part has been all purely power leveling sections, you know? Like this is all just to get Spider leveled up, become this cracked being. So by the time we get out, everyone else just fodder to us. But I'm excited for to us uh, to get, kind of like catch up within the current timeline and for Wakaba as a demon lord to interact with the rest of the classmates. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you'd enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.